Before the invention of cars, President Ulysses S. Grant's reckless driving earned him the distinction of the first president to be arrested while he was still in office. I'm Bob Summers, and this is a presidential story. President Grant was known as an exceptional horseman. As a youth, he was often asked to train the hard-to-manage horses. As a West Point cadet, he was acknowledged as the best rider in his class, even holding a high jump record that lasted for a quarter of a century. And with his confidence in his horsemanship, he liked to push the limits. This expanded to horse-drawn carriages as well. For example, in 1866, while being dragged along on a political junket in New York City with President Andrew Johnson, Grant ended up riding in a carriage through Central Park. Grant challenged the driver of Johnson's coach to a road race to the top of the park's Great Hill. Grant won handily. At least, that's what the newspapers reported. Grant dismissed the story as almost without foundation. He did admit that he had taken the reins, though. In 1872 Washington, a slew of accidents forced D.C. authorities to start cracking down on speeders. For policeman William West, the last straw came when a horrible accident by a driver of speeding horses took place on his block, seriously injuring a woman with a six-year-old child. William Henry West was born a slave, fought in the Civil War, and during Reconstruction, was one of the first black police officers in Washington's Metropolitan Police Department. And he's about to become the only person to arrest a sitting president. According to the story West told to the Washington Evening Star in 1908, West stopped Grant at the corner of 13th and M Streets, not knowing who it was. West then asked for Grant's license and proof of insurance. Sorry, wrong century. But the president did ask, well, officer, what do you want with me? Once an embarrassed West realized who he had pulled over, he pulled himself together and replied, I want to inform you, Mr. President, that you are violating the law by speeding along this street. Your fast driving, sir, has set the example for a lot of other gentlemen. Grant apologized and was allowed to leave with a warning. However, the next day, West pulled Grant over again. According to West, Grant looked like a boy who had been caught with his hand in the cookie jar. This time, West said, I'm very sorry, Mr. President, to have to do it, for you are the chief of the nation, and I am nothing but a policeman. But duty is duty, sir, and I will have to place you under arrest. Grant was taken to the police station and ordered to pay a $20 bond, the equivalent of $490 today. And despite the cost of that bond, Grant did not show up for his trial the following day. In 2012, Washington, D.C. Police Chief Kathy Lanier commented that Grant was stopped three times for speeding. On at least one occasion, his horse and buggy were seized, and he was forced to walk back to the White House. Fortunately, there were no hard feelings on either man's part. Grant respected West's decision to arrest him, even saying that he knew he was speeding and deserved to be arrested for it. A fellow horse lover, West ultimately befriended the president. The pair would often get together and... During one of their many chats, the lawman made an awkward admission. Just before joining the force, he'd been a speed demon himself. West continued his career with the Metropolitan Police Department until his retirement in September 1901. And that's the story of President Ulysses S. Grant's arrest for reckless driving. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to hear more presidential stories. And please visit POTUS.com to learn more interesting facts about the presidents.